the process by which information is heard, understood, interpreted and then acted upon in a way that matches the speaker's intent. In other words, for listening to be effective, it must deliver the results that the speaker intended. As Sir Robert Frost once said, education is the ability to listen to almost anything without losing your temper or your self-confidence. So here are a few points for effective listening. Keeping an open mind. So thinking about listening might make you feel tense at the moment. The effective listener is instead calm with a focused and alert mind. You are not waiting what to hear what you want to hear, but listening to what is said as it is said. Effective listeners keep an open mind. And recognizing this can help you cultivate a more open perspective, helping you to better adjust as you listen actively to a speaker. Also, it might help you to curtail your emotions. If you do encounter a point that possibly angers you, write it down to return later. For now, just keep on listening. In any setting where you are expected to listen, you encounter numerous distractions. For example, in a new product meeting with say, the sales team, you could be unnerved by the constant beep of a phone or you could uh, think about the beep sound of a email or a phone message that has just arrived. Identify these things that will interrupt your attention and make a conscious choice to move it to a different seat or you can move to a different place or you can turn off your phone and these things would definitely help you listen more effectively. Coming prepared is another useful strategy that you could use. Uh, this is what you are expected to do as a listener. You will be better able to adjust and engage more deeply in what is being said. For example, uh, suppose you are assigned a reading passage, you are assigned possibly a lab work or you are supposed to read a biography uh, of the guest speaker. Do all those things before you go to the event. Review the agenda, maybe of a previous staff meeting or consult a colleague about the client before going on site. And these things, if you are prepared, definitely th these would be steps for effective listening. Taking notes can also advance your ability to be actively engaged in the speaker's words. You know, you need not write down everything that the speaker is saying. Because first of all, this is impossible. Secondly, once you are caught up in recording the speaker's words, then you are no longer listening. So, the best way would be to use a tape recorder or a speech recorder. But here, have this speaker's permission first. And if you feel that you must really capture all the words and at the same time you need to focus on listening, keep the your recorder on the table. You could also jot down notes, you could draw visuals to recall the main ideas and these are definite ways of effective listening.